Hey guys, Matt Bartschmeer from Warrior Fitness and Health, and I coach busy people to create fitter and healthier lifestyles with my boot camps, my PT, and my nutritional consultations. I hope you are well today. Welcome to the latest vlog. So, in this short vlog, I want to be telling you the best way to program your exercise in the week for better time management and the correct way of distributing your exercise sessions through the week. So it's dead easy this is, isn't it? Because the World Health Organization tell us that we should be doing uh, two full body weighted sessions per week. We should be doing 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous. Um, maybe uh, two to four stretching sessions a week. There we go, job done, dead easy. Go away and plan that into your week. It's dead easy, end of the vlog. But of course, it's never that easy, is it? So how much exercise should you really be doing in the week? So you will know one of my core warrior fitness and health theories is progression beats perfection. Consistency is key. So I'm going to make an assumption that you may be a little bit like me in the fact that every single week of the year is never the same. There may be issues with work, you may be on holiday, you may be having to do overtime. There may be issues with kids and kids clubs or kids off school. Oh, that's family problems, MOT failures, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna make an assumption that every single week is not the same. So how ridiculous would it be to say, oh, I'm going to do four exercise sessions every single week, no matter what? Because the problem there is that when we have the MOT failures, when we have the problems with the children or a repair that needs doing in the house, or we have to do a load of work over time, we don't hit our four sessions, what do we do? We beat ourselves up, I'm rubbish, I'm not consistent, my exercise is rubbish, I'm gonna have to make a big comeback and start again. Well, let's have a look at a better way of doing it. So I'm gonna get the Warrior whiteboard out and I'm gonna show you a couple of models. So this is, see this as a pizza. Okay, so I tend to divide the key areas of my life into four areas. So I've got career and finance, I've got health and fitness, I've got personal development, and I've got friends, family and social. So imagine on, say, a perfect week. I can divide that pizza into four areas. So in my available free time, I can divide uh, career and finance development, 25%, friends, family and social, 25 health and fitness, um 25 and personal development 25 and the perfect week job done but let's let's imagine if i don't know i've got a friend in need and they really need some assistance from me because one of their life wheels has fallen off and i've really got to spend some time with a real close friend and give them some assistance so this slice of the pizza might actually be bigger than a quarter it might be a third which means that i'm gonna have to cut down some of the others I may have to do a little bit less work that week, or if I can't do that, I might need to do a little bit less fitness, or I might do need to do a little bit less learning to allow for the fact that I've helped a friend in need. Do you see where I'm going with this? So that's a, that's a model that I've kind of made up, and I'll call it the, the pizza slices. This one on this side is called the four burners, and you can Google this because it's an accredited counselling model. So the four burners kind of goes like this. Imagine if um, you're cooking something on your hob at home and you've got this unlimited energy supply coming into your hob. You can turn all four burners up to 100%. Everything will be absolutely fine. But, of course, with our human bodies and everyday life, it's not like that, is it? So when we wake up every morning, we've got this limited energy supply that we wake up with, and that's based on previous hydration and sleep and recovery and nutrition, all that sort of stuff. So we may go through the day and we've got to divvy up 100% of our energy into these. So imagine if, um, imagine if we work a 12 hour shift, well that may take up 60%, which only leaves 40% for these then. So, we may choose not to do any learning on that specific day, and obviously your burners are your burners, mine are just mine. So we may choose to go, well, I'm not going to do any learning because I need to spend some time doing health and fitness and I need some time uh, with my family and children and that sort of stuff. We may have a day where we've got no work, so then we've got 100% to divide up into those three. Do you see where I'm going with this? So 
to say let's do four exercise sessions every single week is absolutely ridiculous because we're just setting ourselves up to fail. So a simple system to get around this is maybe on a Sunday or whenever your start of the week is maybe on a Sunday, you assess your priorities for the week or the month ahead. You can roughly from that go on to step two, which basically you can roughly figure out where your percentages are on your four burners or on your pizza slices. So you know if you can dedicate four hours to exercise, you know if you can only give two hours to exercise, you know if maybe you need to do a load more on personal development and studying because you've got an exam coming up or something. You see where I'm going with this? Instead of going four exercise sessions per week, just maybe you have a look at your priorities for the week or the month and then you align percentages to suit, then regarding exercise, if you've got the normal allotted time for exercise, you just plan in your sessions and get on with the week or the month. If you've got less time for exercise, there's two things you need to do. Firstly, you need to do exercise that you absolutely love and enjoy and is going to be super effective. Secondly, you need to make sure that that exercise is 100% meaningful. So it might be a high intensity session, it might be a warrior boot camp session, but it's not going to be something where you leave your foot back on the pedal. If you've got limited time for exercise, you've only got two sessions, get in there, hit it hard twice, crack on with your week. Each week and then each month then becomes dynamic and flexible. And the great thing about that is you don't ever beat yourself up. So for example, um, this moment in time, as I film this, I've got less PT clients because we're in lockdown. I'm doing more phone consultations. I'm doing more one-to-ones on the phone, the computer, etc. So I'm traveling to the gym less. So I've turned my uh, personal development burner and my free content burner up and I've turned my exercise burner up. But when I go back to normal business, say we'll all go back to their normal percentages. So where I'm going to with this is assess a week ahead, assess a month ahead, have a look at your four burners, see which needs to take priority, assess your percentages, and you will never have to beat yourself up again because it's absolutely fine to be exercising four times one week, two times another, three times another, no exercise on that week because I'm absolutely rammed. Because here's the key. The monthly, the quarterly, the six monthly and the yearly average is way more important than any one particular week. Just like your yearly finances are way more important than any one particular week. Your yearly savings are way more important than saving five pound a week. Do you see where I'm going? It's a yearly, the six monthly or the quarterly average that is way more powerful than any one particular day. So again, be flexible in your planning and know that sometimes you have to juggle because we are humans and sometimes the wheel falls off. If you've enjoyed this, find it useful, do all the sexy stuff, comment, like it, share it, tag somebody in it, send it on. Let's get Tamworth as fit and healthy as possible. If you'd like to know any more about my boot camps, my PT, my nutritional consultations, let me know, DM me, send me a message, send me a message, go onto my social media, see if you like my work. If you don't, then go and have a look at someone else. If you do, follow me, do that sort of stuff. I love you all loads. I will see you on the next vlog.